Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to teach you a quick way to look for a good date to resume your business after the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year. Okay, it's because not only Chinese, uh, not only Chinese that celebrate the Lunar New Year, but also Koreans, Vietnamese, and many other uh, people also do celebrate the Lunar New Year. Now this is a particularly uh, fashionable here in Malaysia and I think most part of the world by now due to the extensive influence of date selection by many uh, famous masters, right? So uh, this method actually come from the Tong Shu, right? The Tong Shu, which is a Chinese a yearly calendar published uh, we have many publishers like for example mainly they come from uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong but we over here in Malaysia particularly uh, the Hong Kong version is much more uh, popular right so uh, this this Tong Shu has a lot a lot of information right but if you can read Chinese there's a lot a lot of information inside but in particularly important is because every year they change the calendar right because every year is a different calendar eh? so now i want to explain a little bit uh, introduction about this little thing of date selection now there are many many methods of date selection okay so just like feng shui eh, date selection also has many many uh, uh, what they call versions different schools and there are many right so it's it's a lot so sometimes people confuse and they come and ask me hey master i have three feng shui master but uh, everyone tells seems to be telling me different things yes that's very normal yeah because this is the nature of feng shui because there are many schools just like religion right in, in christianity there are many different uh, school of thoughts uh, in islam in buddhism whatever right there are many school of thoughts so it's the same in Feng Shui. So you don't need to ask too many masters because you'll be expected to be getting all the different answers, right? In some way. So coming back to this thing, uh, in the introduction of the Tong Shu, it says that here, if you can read the Chinese, which I already highlighted in yellow over here, right? You see, it says that this is the a low level method. Okay, so there are many, many date selection method. But these methods that enlisted in the Tong Shu are considered the lower level methods, right? Uh, so, but they continue to publish it. Reason because it is still part of the Chinese culture. It has been deeply rooted in the Chinese culture. So that's why everybody every year will come and ask, Master, any 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 good dates for for resuming my business and things like that, right? So uh, personally, of course, I don't practice it because I know this is just a basic date selection method. For us as a practitioner, we know other methods that is even better. We are looking at the great tier 1, 2, and 3, right? We don't even look at anything beyond 4. Uh, that's the difference uh, between practitioners and, of course, the public, right? But anyway, since people ask me, so I might as well teach you a little bit about how to use the Tong Shu right so that you can uh, do it yourself next year with the tong shu right you don't need to wait for people to to give you dates right uh, wait for some seminars or things like that to get dates so you can actually use these dates uh, and you can pre-plan your uh, timing if you still believe in this uh, practice okay now all you need to do is first get a tong shu right you can buy it and normally by the end of the every year they will start to uh, you see them on the bookstores right the local bookstores and you can find them there right no worries okay so let's go on to the next slide now this is a typical first page of the uh, Tong Shu right now uh, look at here this top top row here actually refers to the Gregorian calendar for example here it says that 2021 year second month 12th day which is a Friday same K, uh, Friday so this actually refers to the 12th of February uh. so 12th of February we start our Chinese New Year that's why you see here Choyat, uh, Choyat. 
first day of Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year. Okay, sorry, Lunar New Year. <laughs> Why I keep always repeating Chinese New Year? It's a Lunar New Year, right? So this is that's why the, in Chinese they call it the Chunji, Chunji, uh, the, the spring, the spring, spring festival of Chunji. Now you look at this one. This is the one that you should be looking for. Now there are twelve of them, right? Because this method is known as the twelve officer date selection method. So this Chinese character down here, every one of them you see this this one here. Uh, so this is a choyat. Choyat means a uh, remove day, remove choy something or throw away or something. Right? Mm. Here is a moon yat. Moon yat means a full or fulfilled day. Huh? This is a peng yat. Peng yat means a uh, normal, stable, huh? uh, 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 things like that. So these are the type of days. But what we want to look for is only for these four days. They are particularly uh, so-called suitable for resuming business. Like uh, this is called uh, Seng Yat, uh, Seng. so success. Uh, Chen. Mandarin is called Chen. Kai, Kai is Ho Yat, uh, is open day. So, so when you have open day means it's good for opening business. So you get new energy, refresh energy. Uh, Seng Yat here means success. Uh, I mean anything you do, the chances of success is higher. right? Uh, so that's the meaning of it. Uh, this is another good day. It's called Teng. Teng means it's very stable, very uh, not rocky, uh, so stable, smooth. Uh, right? So meaning that if you start a, uh, your business on this day, so things will be quite smooth. Uh, it won't be uh, rocky or a lot of troubles or things like that. This is another good day. It's called the Sao Yat. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so. Uh, in Cantonese, so, so means you, 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 you receive or you keep or something like that. So are, you're getting POs, uh, for example, orders or customer, or you receive customer. Uh, so these are the four particular days that is very good for resuming business. Okay, so you got to look for them. Now, normally in the first day, second day, third day, usually people don't work uh, because people are still on holiday celebrating. Now, let's look for the next following week. Okay. Now this is the fifth day, fifth day, uh, fourth day. Sorry, Cho say uh, fourth day, Cho um, Cho lo, right. So this is the fifteen February, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and so on. Okay, now let's go down the day, 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 day. Okay, Cho say. Okay, so you see ah uh, there. So you see the Cho say here, right? This is the thing yet. Okay. So Cho say is the fourth day of the Lunar New Year, which is the 15th of February. You see this word? It's the same as this one, right? Uh, so this is called the Teng Yat. So this is a very stable day. Uh, good. So but then there's another criteria you need to filter out. It's very good for other people except People born in the year of the red, earth red and the water red. So you are born in the year of the water red and the, all the earth red. So it's particularly not so good. Okay. So you have to avoid this type of day if you are born in the year of the earth red or the water red. Uh, so you can choose other days. Right. So what other days are available? For example, let's go on. So you see this one, not this one, this one, oh, yeah, no, this one, no. Ah, there you see this red color one. This is the Seng Yat. Okay, so Seng Yat, you see, same character, right? So it's the eighth day, Cho Pa. Because in Malaysia, uh, we have two different groups of people celebrating China at uh, this Lunar New Year. One is the non Hokkien or Fukien people, the other is the Fukien. The Fukien people will always uh, start their lunar celebration on the ninth day uh, due to some history. Uh, that's why they they start on the ninth day, and they always uh, start and when they pray to heaven on the day, they always pray with a sugar cane, uh, because there is a history. This thing happened in China before, okay. So some some historical background, so it become a culture already uh. So they they always celebrate, starting on the eighth night, and then they start the new year, the lunar new year on the ninth day of the lunar new year. So this is a good day, Sengyat, uh, success day. So everything you do is higher chance for success, right? But 
this day is good except for people born in the year of the dragon the person with the zodiac of dragon so zodiac dragon people uh, this year this day uh, not so good for you so you wait for another day right another day would be the next one you see this this character here right this is the sao yat uh, receive day so uh, this is another good day so at least uh, this one only clashes people with the year of born in the year of snake like snake uh, so you can choose so four days so after this they will continue to repeat uh. so you turn to the following pages you will find the, the these things will repeat again right so there are 12 months after 12 they will repeat again so you just look for the day that you 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 feel that it's convenient for you to start back your or resume your business and then you just look for these four days right uh, but of course the the different different days different success day you may clash with a different zodiac animal doesn't mean that this success day is always clashing with dragon people uh, born a year of dragon not true it's only this particular few days it clashes with the dragon right so uh, so you have to look so that's why it's good to learn up a little bit of the Chinese uh, basic Chinese metaphysics thing right um so for us as a practitioner of course we don't use this uh, level of uh, this selection we use the most sophisticated method which is also more complicated and involves a lot more calculation because uh, this selection method there is certain criteria for it to reach to so called to be a, a, a very good or a method of this selection right uh, because in the in the past these methods are only kept to learn practitioners so this tong shu thing was mainly used for the uh, for the public right so so the public learn this thing and then so for many years they have been using it using it now even people use the tong shu to select a day for uh, what they call uh, for wedding right uh, so for many things uh, to to hang the signboard to uh, to bury or to you know go to temple and things like that but to me this is a bit over overwhelming uh, uh. so you only use date selection for very important things uh, but the date selection method that you use has to be fulfilling three important criteria heaven earth and man because these tongshu date selection they only connect heaven and man the earth part is missing that's why the the, the effectiveness of this date selection is very minimal you need to connect the three then only you can have a very powerful uh, date that can really bring about uh, good effects or faster effects right so I've done many date selection so I know because from the from the feedback and the eventualities that we observe definitely you will see the difference in the effect so this you will learn it mainly for the purpose of doing feng shui right when the feng shui of the house involved then you can use this uh, uh, date selection system for the feng shui of the house so if you like to learn about the date selection system for the uh, for the house you say stay tuned because uh, we're gonna have one course specifically for this uh, it's very good for people who wants to get really good dates to kick off some very important events Okay, whether it's for business, it's fair for house or whatever, right? It can be used. Okay, that's so much for now. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this uh, little short video on uh, how to use Tongshu. And um, if you have any question, you can uh, write to me or you can uh, comment on the section. So I can uh, give you some feedback in case if you're not sure about the dates, whether it clashes with you or not, right? So we can do that. Uh, not a problem at all. So if you, I hope you like it, uh, do share with your friends, uh, encourage us by giving us a like for making this video, right? So until then, so I wish you a happy and a successful Metal Ox year. Bye-bye.